So we at Mobile World Congress here at uh, BlackBerry, and this is the playbook. Uh, at CES, a lot of people uh, said it was the best tablet. So um, this is running QNX OS. What is that? Yeah, so um, this actually runs our, our own proprietary operating system. It's called uh, BlackBerry Tablet OS, and it, uh, it features technology from QNX, absolutely. So QNX is uh, a, a company that, that develops embedded um, embedded Linux-based POSIX certified operating systems kind of specializing in um, you know multi-core applications so you know they've got technology and everything from the space shuttles to um, to uh, nuclear power plants um, to I don't know the the routers that power the web so um, you know it is Linux based it is All right so you are trying to make all the, the productivity apps work, right? Uh, I mean, BlackBerry is big in the enterprise. So you, you, you claim that uh, somebody who's working in enterprise can take this and continue working on that, right? Yeah, so I mean, the productivity story is definitely one side of playbook. Out of the box, we're going to support applications like docs to go um, from, from DataViz and uh, Slideshow to go and, and Sheets to go, which are going to allow enterprise users to, you know, um, you know use these productivity tools uh, right out of the box, so these are going to be preloaded on the device. We've also got Adobe Reader. Um, you know, we've got here at our booth at uh, at Mobile World Congress. We've got partners like SAP and partners like Citrix that are also building applications for the tablet. Um, but I mean, the enterprise story is only one side of the story for Playbook, because we've also got you know great content, great web browsing, multimedia, and gaming applications too. So, uh, has BlackBerry announced if uh, if this is going to work on? on the other kind of smartphones as well? Is that kind of the vision? This kind of OS? So, so sorry, what was the question? Okay, so sorry, you were, there was no battery. What are oh. we saying? Okay, no, so um, longer term, uh, we are looking to, to expand um, you know, some of the technology featured in the BlackBerry uh, tablet OS into other parts of the business as the platform evolves. So, I mean, you can look for that in the future from, from BlackBerry smartphones. So last week there's been some rumors on the internet that uh, there might be some kind of Dalvik engine running on this tablet to support Android apps. So has there been right. any official announcement around that? No, we're not, we're not commenting on the speculation um, that, that's circulating in, in certain parts of the industry around that right now. So but what, we, what we can say is that you know, we are providing developers with uh, a suite of tools um, from you know, a native SDK down the road to WebWorks and Air for Tablet that's going to give them a number of you know, different resources to develop uh, applications for, for the tablet OS. But it makes sense that some people imagine that it could make sense, you know? Like, well, they're, they're speculating and we're not commenting on it. <laughs> Alright, okay, cool. So, uh, did, did BlackBerry announce different sizes or like this is going to be a big thing? Like a tr the, the tablet thing right now in the market is big. A lot of people want tablets. So, uh, any. Uh, this is not just one product, right? Well, you know, we've announced an, a number of, of products in the in the Playbook family. I mean, we've got this Wi-Fi enabled tablet. Um, we've announced uh, two uh, 4G versions of Playbook here at Mobile World Congress this week, an LTE and HSPA Plus version. And at CES, we announced a 4G WiMAX version as well. Now, um, as far as sizes go, I mean, we were very deliberate in choosing the seven-inch form factor for our first tablet because we wanted to build a tablet that was ultra portable that you could take everywhere and anywhere with you. As far as the roadmap goes, uh, we're not going to speculate on that right now. So how does it work? This capacitive all the way to the edge? Yeah. So the bezel is um, is active itself. So I mean, you'll notice that there are no buttons on the face of the device, and what that means is that you use the bezel to help navigate the tablet. So you start a gesture from off the viewable area here and swipe up to get back to the home screen. Similarly, if you want to switch between applications, you can start a gesture from outside, you know, the display here to move back and forth. You'll also notice that there's no um, persistent toolbar. We didn't want to sacrifice any of our viewable area for um, for a status bar. So what you can do instead is start a little gesture from the corner and and peek down. It's kind of like looking at your watch, right? You just kind of take a quick look at it, see if you've got any notifications, or you know, um, check out your your signal strength or anything like that, and then resume your full screen viewing. Cool. Um... So you're using the Texas Instruments OMAP 4, its most advanced processor ever, kind of. Uh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, like, yeah. it's 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 powering you know a yeah. really great real-time operating system and giving users a really great you know performance experience. So you know, I think it's a I think it's a great processor. Yeah. Uh, do you know if it can play back every codec, every video? 
Well, I'm not. I'm not sure. You know, the entire gamut. But I mean, we definitely support H.263. Is it or two six four? Two six four. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and you know, you know, AVI and, and a number of different codecs. So. Um, you know, I think the multimedia experience on Playbook is going to be great. I mean, you're going to be able to sync it up um, to your uh, to your desktop through uh, BlackBerry uh, Media Sync, just like you do with the smartphones, and you can you know uh, sync up your media in that way. Cool. All right. Uh, no HDMI outputs, right? Yeah, actually, we do have HDMI output. So it's a micro HDMI. So um, I know I've kind of played this video a few times here. We've got other content on it, but just to keep it easy, you know, we've got this great um, this great uh, HD quality video here that we're running on the tablet. Um, and if you wanted to, you know, consume that on your your large H HD, you know, plasma or LCD, you can just uh, plug it in right here with the HDMI output and get it in full 1080p HD. That's that's not a host. It's just a slave uh, USB, right? It doesn't connect keyboards. It would be wireless keyboards if there were some keyboards, right? I think, uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure, okay. to tell you the honest truth. Right. Um, definitely able to support Bluetooth keyboards um, with the Bluetooth profiles that we support. Video conferencing will be Skype or any chance for that? Well, I mean, um, we've got front and rear cameras. Um, there are a lot of different options for video conferencing, but uh, we haven't announced anything with Skype yet, so All right. stay tuned for that. And how soon can we get this in Europe? Well, we're launching um, Playbook initially in North America in Q1 2011. So if you look at the calendar, you'll notice that uh, it's probably going to be very soon. We are not giving it a specific date. Yeah. And then um, you know, beyond North America, we're going to really quickly be launching, launching in you know, other markets around the world. So you, know, you can probably look for it uh, sometime in Q2. So BlackBerry uh, started in, ca in Canada, right? Yeah. How, how, can it, how can it grow? How, how did it grow so big? I mean, how did it work? How did yeah, it work? We're up over 55 or 57 million users now around the world, and you know we're seeing a lot of growth internationally. And I think people just see, you know, the power of the platform. Um, they see, you know, our attention to detail and 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 um, you know meticulous uh, construction of, of high quality, high performance devices. And I think people get that. They also see, you know, the power that we have in the social space with things like BBM. And um, you know, we've announced some really cool things that we're doing with BBM. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of just the beginning. The, the messages are encrypted uh, when you send e uh, emails on BlackBerry. Yeah. And some countries um, uh, have been complaining about that. They wanted a backdoor. Like, uh, was it uh, Saudi Arabia or something? But is that fixed right now? or? Oh, we've been working really collaboratively with, with a lot of these markets okay. um, around the world. And, and I think, you know, we're, we're, we're pleasing all of our... All of our for users and stakeholders, for sure. So, are some of the founders uh, from Canada still like there in, in BlackBerry and oh, absolutely taking so, care of things? You know, Mike Lazaridis uh, is is still um, you know our, one of our co-CEOs. Jim Balsley, who's here at the conference this week, um, also a Canadian. Um, and when they started, was a small company. Yeah, I mean, Rim was actually founded in 1984 um, and was doing a whole bunch of uh, wireless connectivity stuff. Uh, and then it wasn't until the late 90s that we started introducing BlackBerry smartphones and you know it's grown like you said really rapidly from there. But now there's uh, Android uh, pushing a little bit. I'm just uh, yeah, so like... Well the market's dynamic right and there's, yeah. there's a lot of space for a lot of different players but you know we excel at you know real-time push, real-time connectivity, recognized as one of the leaders in security, recognized as a leader in enterprise so I mean we're, we're still yeah. growing like you said. You're still growing even though Android is growing faster you're still growing. Well, I mean, we're we're growing, we're growing, we're really pleased with our growth, right? Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot.